It's E3 time, but unfortunately E3 is cancelled. But at least we have the State of Play and Summer Game Fest coming, so there's still things to get excited about. And recently I've been hyped up about Final Fantasy. If you've been watching the channel, we've done a whole playthrough of Final Fantasy VI, and we've also been working our way through Final Fantasy IX. I'm really hoping for some Final Fantasy VII Remake news, but I kinda don't think that's gonna be coming because we have a few other things that should probably come first. I'm guessing we'll get Final Fantasy XVI and Forspoken news before we get any more Remake news. Also, Tetsuya Nomura said that there'd be more Final Fantasy VII news in June because of the 25th anniversary. But I'm kind of thinking he's just talking about Ever Crisis. I am interested in Ever Crisis. I'd like to see more of what the game looks like and how the chapters are going to be divided up. Are they going to just have like Crisis Core, Before Crisis, Final Fantasy VII, Bombing Run, and then randomly jump to Advent Children? Are they going to do the whole game of Final Fantasy VII in Ever Crisis? I kind of don't think they will. I'm wondering if they're just gonna jump around from chapter to chapter. I wasn't that interested in Forspoken, but knowing it comes from the Final Fantasy XV team, that makes me a bit more interested. I think the strong points of Final Fantasy XV were the open world and the characters, but the story was a little weak. If the story in Forspoken is well done and they maintain the open world from Final Fantasy XV, it could turn out to be pretty cool. As for Final Fantasy XVI, I'm pretty optimistic about it. It seems that Yoshi P is really popular with the Final Fantasy XIV players. Everyone online seems to have the utmost confidence that he can take care of Final Fantasy XVI. For me personally, the exciting thing is that it reminds me of Final Fantasy Tactics and FF12. FF16 seems to have that Ivalice vibe. Tactics has one of the best stories in Final Fantasy as far as I'm concerned. If FF16 is able to meld the character drama along with the political intrigue, it could easily become one of my favorites in the franchise. After the end of FF7 Remake, it's kinda hard to tell if the game is gonna continue down the original storyline or try something completely different. So I'd be really interested to see where things are going next. The least likely thing that I think we'd get any news about is the FF9 Remake. Since we didn't get anything on the animation as we had expected, it seems like it's possible that we won't see anything on FF9 Remake for a long time. I still think it's gonna be something more along the lines of Ever Crisis than FF7 Remake though. For Spoken, FF16 and FF7 Remake are all console exclusives to PlayStation, so we could easily see them all at State of Play, but I would probably expect only one of them. My pessimistic prediction would be Forspoken at the State of Play and FF7 Ever Crisis at Summer Game Fest. Sony has said that the state of play is going to focus on VR and third party stuff, so I think it's pretty likely that we'll get one Square Enix game there, but probably not two. My more optimistic prediction would be Forspoken at the state of play and then FF16 and Ever Crisis at Summer Game Fest. How about you? What do you think is gonna show up at the State of Play and Summer Game Fest? Are there any other game franchises that you're interested in? I'm kinda excited to see what the Resident Evil Village DLC is gonna turn out to be. Do you think all our gaming dreams are gonna come true this summer, or are we gonna leave disappointed? Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment to support the channel. Thanks for watching!